What's up, Ellison Squad? It's your girl, Little Starnia, and I am back with another video. And today is Vlogmas Day 4. So I'll be installing a wig on my sister in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy. And she already had braids before the video, so we just cut it short to put it under the wig. So stay tuned. I could see that she was trying to braid it and I told her like girl I got this I'm doing your hair and I got stuck when I was going between the chair and the table but let's continue so now guys we're putting some hair oil in her scalp so it could like grow while it's under the wig so this is tea tree oil that we're putting on that's done we're going to put the wig cap on her head some gossipy glue to push back her edges. guys now we're just combing through the wig it's not a new wig it's an old wig that was washed and everything so now we're just gonna put it on and see where she wanted placed and everything also she doesn't like the sides clipped in that's why I'm asking her you guys can see because it takes out your hair sometimes, so she only clips in the back and then like the front gets glued on. She's looking at her phone camera to see if she wanted there. Guys, now we're getting into the process of gluing the wig. So we're gonna comb back all the hair so that they won't get inside of the glue. So now we shall begin to place the glue and we are using ghost bond glue.
can see I'm spreading the glue around I'm not letting it stay as I placed it because if you let it stay like that it will not dry and turn clear and it will be a mess so you guys mostly with all wing installs what I do now is cut off all the lace because I just think that it looks better so guys now what I'm doing is taking gospel glue and gelling back all excess hairs so when I pull the wig up it won't intervene so guys what I'm gonna do now is since the ghost bond is dry and clear I'm going to put some got to be glue spray over it now we're gonna stick the wig down over that sorry I was like blocking her I didn't like really see that but we're putting the wig down and then I'm gonna show you guys doing the edges and everything else guys I went ahead and I cut off more lace because it's just the fact that I think that it looks better without the lace mostly on it so so guys now we're gonna start styling the edges she only wants two edges like the ones on the side she don't want none of the middle one down by ear none of that so we're gonna get to styling the edges gonna plug up the hot comb. Well now that I have took out the edges we are going to cut them and slay them. At this part she was like she don't like all the hair on her from cutting but it was in my hand. <laughs> are styling the edges with got to be blue So guys we have finished the edges but we're gonna use this gel it's a black edge gel to take out like all the splits in the edges so basically this is making the edges more fuller since it's black it's like a tint guys I'm gonna be using this thing for the eyelashes or eyebrows something like that to make it more like 
I don't know how to say it, but like more smoother, I guess. But this is new. I have like a bunch of these things, so. I'm gonna be using some lace tint spray from Ebon. I also wanna try the Ebon glue and spray, so look out for that soon. The point of me using this spray is so that the lace color will match her regular skin color. Well guys, now the edges are done, I'm going to mix some gel and some water together to get her hair wet and lustrous, right? And we're gonna tie down the edges and all, so let's do this. So now we're going to use the hot comb to lay the wig a little bit flatter. Now we're gonna begin to spray her hair and get it looking very, very good. you guys i got a wig brush or a wig comb whatever it is to comb it as i spray it because the other comb was just a little bit too thin so that's what i'm doing right now What I do is scrunch it up because if you're just combing it, it's gonna go like a straight curl. When you scrunch it, it's gonna get like tighter, if that makes sense.
you guys this is how it's looking right now but we still have to do some finishing touches so guys this is how it's looking we're getting ready to do her lashes but that will be on a separate video so make sure you guys go look at that video it may say part two or something like that and that video will be way shorter but we're gonna show you guys how it looks with the lashes and the hair after this guys don't mind her face because someone got her mad but this is the finished look with the eyelashes and the hair i'll show you guys a picture now so you guys she actually went out of town so this is a picture that i received and with this being shown this is the end of vlogmas day four and ellison squad we out